Okay, um, we're going to work a little bit with hyperbolic equations. And here we have 3 times the hyperbolic cosine of 2x equals 3 plus the hyperbolic sine of 2x. And we're supposed to solve for x. What value of x will make that equation true? And to begin with, let's get all the hyperbolic functions on one side. So we have 3 times the hyperbolic cosine of 2x minus the hyperbolic sine of 2x equals 3. And let's put things into their uh, basic definitions. This would be 3 times e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x divided by 2 minus e to the 2x, as before, minus e to the minus 2x. With hyperbolic cosines, we add the exponentials. With the hyperbolic sine, we subtract. And this is divided by 2 equals 3. And let's see, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Um, so this will go away. And that will be equal to 6. So we have here 3 times e to the 2x plus 3 e to the minus 2x. And then we have minus e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x equals 6. And let's see, 3, this is e to the 2x minus e to the 2x. So we have 2 times e to the 2x here. And what else do we have? Um, e to the minus 2x, e to the minus 2, 3 times e to the minus 2x plus this. That gives us plus 4 times e to the minus 2x equals 6. Or divide each side of the equation by 2 and we have e to the 2x plus 2e to the minus 2x equals 3. And let's see, let's bring this over to this side of the equation. We have e to the 2x minus 3 plus 2 times e to the minus 2x will equal 0. And let's clear the equation of this um, negative exponent. Let's multiply everything by e to the plus 2x. Now here on this, that would be e to the 2x times e to the 2x that will equal e to the 4x. So here we will have e to the 4x minus 3 times e to the 2x plus 2. e to the minus 2x times e to the plus 2x is e to the 0 and this equals 0. Now here, looking at this equation, e to the 4x is this, but I could also write it as e to the 4x equals e to the 2x squared. That would also give me e to the 4x. So this here is e to the 2x squared minus 3 e to the 2x plus 2 equals 0. And 
The reason why we wrote it like this is it looks like we should have a quadratic equation, but it might be the square of it. Let's see. A quadratic equation looks like this. A x squared, say, plus bx plus c equals zero. But if we had a x squared squared plus b x squared plus c equals zero, we can solve this equation for x using our quadratic formula. We can solve this equation for x squared using our quadratic formula, and that's what we have here. So we can solve this for e to the 2x. So e to the 2x, now using our quadratic equation, will equal, and the solution here is remember x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. That's for this. Well, for this one, it would be x squared for this equation. So here, minus 3, um, b is then, this is plus 3, because we have minus b, we're taking the minus of a minus, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 9, minus 4ac, the coefficient on this is 1, 4 times 2 is 8, divided by 2 times a, that's just times 2, um, this is 1, so we have 3 plus or minus 1 divided by 2. Let's just stop and check ourselves. Minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. b is minus 3, so this will give us a plus 3 here. b squared is going to be 9 minus 4ac. A is 1, C is 2, so 4 times 2 is 8, divided by 2 times A, that coefficient is 1, so that's just divided by 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, so you have 3 plus or minus 1 divided by 2, or this will equal 2 or 1. So right now we're saying e to the 2x, That may equal 2, or e to the 2x equals 1. Now, e, well, any number to the 0 power is 1, so this would imply then that x would have to equal 0. And going back to this side here, um, if we take the natural log of both sides, this would just be 2x will equal the natural log of 2 or x will equal 1 half the natural log of 2. So we get two values for x. x can be this or x can be this in order to make this equation true. The only place where it got a little bit messy was here. We didn't strictly have a quadratic equation. We had an quad this is a quadratic equation for x. This is a quadratic equation for x squared. We saw this for x with the quadratic formula. We saw this for x squared with the quadratic formula. And in here we have e to the 4x e to the 2x, so we're going to end up solving this equation not for e to the x, but for e to the 2x when we use the quadratic formula. So then we got it down to this expression here. Here x is 0, that's simple. Here we had to use natural log ribbons. Take the natural log of both sides. That's 2x equals a, a log of 2, where x is 1 half the log of 2. So 
that's it for this one. Um, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can solve some more hyperbolic problems.